Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Man United Inside again. Please subscribe and turn on notification for Manchester United updates. Are you ready for some big changes at Manchester United? With new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe taking the reins, the club's future is up in the air. What do you think about the possible departure of manager Eric Ten Hag and star player Marcus Rashford? It seems like Rashford's had a tough season, with controversies off the field and a dip in form on it. Do you think it's time for him to move on? especially with teams like Paris Saint-Germain showing interest? And what about Ten Hag? Can he turn things around or will he be shown the door? With the FA Cup quarterfinal against Liverpool coming up, the pressure's on for Ten Hag to deliver. But even if he does, will it be enough to keep his job? Let's talk about the changes happening at United and what they mean for the club's future. United's under-fire boss was particularly unhappy with the Belfast trip and how the problem was exacerbated with United initially being told that footage of Rashford out partying on social media had happened 24 hours earlier than it did. Rashford called in sick for training on January 26, just 48 hours before the FA Cup fourth round fixture at Newport County, but only arrived home that morning after getting a private plane back to Manchester. Ten Hag was furious, and while he has continued to be a regular since, and the Dutchman has declared publicly that the issue has been put behind them, there is a growing acceptance among the club's top brass that one, or both, must go this summer. Ratcliffe, Sir Dave Brailsford, and incoming CEO Omar Barada, who has already started meeting with club officials while on gardening leave from the City Football Group, want to send a message that mediocrity will no longer be tolerated as they set out on a major revamp of the club's sporting operation. Parting ways with the manager and his underperforming forward may be the first step. Again and again. Manchester United are keen on signing the Atalanta defender Giorgio Scalvini, and they will face competition from Chelsea. A report from Calcio Mercato, it claims that Manchester United have been keeping tabs on the 20-year-old central defender for a while, and they could look to make a move in the summer. The defender is likely to cost around $50 million, and it will be interesting to see if Manchester United are ready to meet the asking price. The Red Devils need to beef up their defensive unit, and Scalvini could prove to be an upgrade on players like Johnny Evans. Harry Maguire and Raphael Varane have been linked with moves away from the club as well. It seems that Manchester United might have to rebuild their defensive unit in the summer and signing Scalvini would be a good start. The Italian could be tempted to join one of the biggest clubs in the world, and a move to Manchester United would allow him to showcase his qualities on a bigger platform in the Premier League. However, the Red Devils must secure Champions League qualification if they want to attract elite young talents like him. Meanwhile, they will face competition from Chelsea, who are keen on signing a defender as well. Scalvini could be a quality long-term alternative to Thiago Silva, and it remains to be seen whether the Blues can secure his services. They are highly unlikely to qualify for the Champions League next season, and therefore Manchester United could have a major advantage in the transfer race. Meanwhile, after a challenging night against Nottingham Forest, Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney has pushed Marcus Rashford to be more ruthless in front of goal. The England international was mainly inconspicuous at the city ground, where Casemiro's injury time strike ensured a 1-0 victory and advanced United to play Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Rasmus Hoyland was out due to injury, therefore Rashford was used as United's primary striker. Alejandro Garnacho was shifted to the left wing to make room for Antony on the right. However, Rashford missed two great opportunities and had a penalty claim turned down by referee Christopher Kavanaugh in the second half. Thus, Eric Ten Hag's tactical change was ineffective. Rooney acknowledged that Rashford's problems were made worse by a lack of opportunities, but he still felt his former teammate needed to show greater patience in front of goal, again and again. Manchester United strike legend Andy Cole claims Arsenal and Chelsea target Ivan Toney absolutely fits the Red Devils' needs. Cole also reckons the Brentford forward, 27, could help develop United's 21-year-old Rasmus Hoyland. The former Newcastle hero told the winner's enclosure, I like Ivan, and if he came to Manchester United, would he do a job? Absolutely he would. 
Rasmus Hoyland is still a young man, so it's all down to whether the club is prepared to bring in an older striker that can help him out at this stage. Manchester United's signings of experienced forwards in recent times hasn't exactly worked out. It all depends on what the transfer fee will be, but for me personally, I believe Ivan would be a good signing for Manchester United if they make a move for him, and he will definitely help Hodgelund. Meanwhile, Jeff Stelling and Ali McCoist believe it's time for Marcus Rashford to consider a career away from Manchester United. The Withenshaw-born talent has only ever known United after joining his boyhood club at just seven years old, going on to work his way through the academy and becoming an integral figure in the senior team. In recent years, Rashford is undoubtedly the greatest success story to come out of Carrington, having registered 128 goals and 74 assists since his promotion to the first team. And he'll continue to be a role model for young Reds regardless even if he one day opts to cut ties and take on a new venture away from Old Trafford. Most prolific campaign in a red shirt came last term when he oversaw a 30-goal season for the first time, also notching 11 assists as he played a pivotal role in ending United's six-year trophy drought, scoring in every round of the Carabao Cup including the final, and in claiming a top-four spot. Such efforts saw Rashford rewarded with a lucrative new contract last summer. In July 2023, he put pen to paper on a five-year deal and had his wages bumped up to a reported $325,000 per week. The England international has since struggled to replicate consistent form, however, and has registered just five goals and six assists in 31 appearances in 2023-2024 thus far. Analyzing Rashford's situation on TalkSport, Stelling suggested that it may be time for the forward to ply his trade elsewhere, saying, I would sell. I would definitely sell because he looks so unhappy and out of sorts. But again, who would you sell him to? McCoist chimed in, Do you know something? I actually think more from his point of view than anything. He just needs to get away and kickstart his career because his body language, he does just not look happy at all. Again again and again. Kevin De Bruyne tops a list of Premier League legends tipped for mega money bids from Saudi Arabia this summer. Manchester City's main playmaker, Liverpool striker Mo Salah, and Manchester United midfielder Casemiro can expect mind-boggling offers. From next season, Saudi Pro League clubs will be more eager than ever and more able to chase major names. That's when the number of foreign players allowed in each squad rises from 8 to 10. And the leading four Saudi teams are keen to exploit the rich transfer resources given to them by the Kingdom's Public Investment Fund. The Times say 